What's up travelers? In this video, we're in Ancient Pytho, also known as today as Delphi, and we are checking out the most intact theater of ancient Greece, an amazing Roman stadium, and of course, the wonderful Temple of Apollo. Here we are, we're in the legendary ancient city of Delphi, Greece. This place is absolutely amazing. It all started, this city all started around a lady named Pythia. She was the person who spoke to the people of ancient Greece as a spokesperson for the god Apollo. Legend has it that Apollo one time killed a giant python and they threw it into a crevice and as it rotted for about 400 years the, the stench and the fumes from this rotting corpse of a snake went up and it basically drove this woman Pythia mad and she would she'd go to a sacred spring and she would wash herself in the spring and then she would go to the temple of Apollo and start speaking in tongues and then the priests of the temple would then decipher what she was saying and that would be the message of the oracle a direct message from the god Apollo. People from all over the ancient world would go on caravans to visit Delphi to go and speak with the oracle. This is the place where all of that happened. Apparently, Pythia did this for over 400 years. That's a little bit of the legend behind this place. Delphi, Greece, it's up in the western mountains of Greece. And oh man, this place is absolutely beautiful. So this is the Callistian Spring. The spring where the Oracle Pythia used to wash herself in to purify herself before she would go down into the temple and give the wisdom of the Oracle to the people who came asking. This little building here was mentioned by Herodotus in some of his writing. And there are also other ancient Greek philosophers who also spoke of this place. And it also uh, took its name from the nymph Calestia. Welcome to the Sanctuary of Apollo. So this is the Roman Agora. All these columns still stand. It's pretty cool. It's hard to believe that they stand this long. carvings in the walls.
so this was the treasury of the Sionians. So this is the Rock of the Sibyl, according to legend. This is where the first oracle would stand and rattle off her her wisdoms and tell people what they needed to know. This was the Stoa of the Athenians. This little building here was the altar of Apollo. It's where the sacrifices and stuff to Apollo took place. And that, I believe, is the temple of Apollo. Right up there. Or actually all of this. <laughs> So we're standing at the Temple of Apollo. This is the location where Pythia, the famed oracle, would come and answer the questions of the, the great leaders and philosophers of the ancient Greek times. She did it for 400 years here. So this is the pillar to Perusius the second. From this perspective, we can get an idea of exactly how massive this temple actually was. It was huge. Now we're standing on the other side of the Temple of Apollo, and we're a good you know, 75 yards away from the pillars on the other side. This is a large building. Look at this view. Just keep going up and up and up and up and up and up. <laughs> it's quite a hike. Ooh, I see a theater up there. And here is a Roman theater. It was built in 160 BC, the early Roman period. Look at that, 
And the floor used to be pure marble. So this is actually the best preserved little theater like this in all of ancient Greece. So in this image here, you can see pretty much all of ancient Pytho. Pytho is what the ancients called Delphi. So we're trying to get up to the stadium. <laughs> I don't know, I think of about three quarters of the way there maybe. I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> crazy because he'd have to be a professional athlete just to go be a spectator <laughs> to watch the game. Had to take a little sit down break because climbing this mountain is hard work. <laughs> <sighs> well finally I see it. Still got a ways to go to get to actually see the inside of it though. <laughs> hey, if you've been enjoying this video, be sure to subscribe and like and all that kind of stuff. Because uh, after we get to the stadium, I think I'm going to go ahead and, and cut the video there. We'll pick it up in the next video with the gymnasium and the sanctuary of Athena. So you're not gonna wanna miss that. Just about here. So I'm getting kind of excited about that. <laughs> Man, this has been a hike. This is the stadium. <laughs> the entrance is way over there, if you can see it. Yeah, the, that was added during the times of uh, Emperor Hadrian. This is it. They did a lot of horse racing and stuff like that here. I'm gonna end the video here. So be sure to like and subscribe and come back for part two of the ancient Delphi archaeological sites. It's going to be cool. Yeah, there's some weird people here. <laughs> so uh, see you in the next one. Go ahead and check this video out here. We're going to go to the most recent series that we have playing right now on Taste and Travel. And down here, there's another video that you might be interested in. Click right here to subscribe. And if you're in Seattle, put it back in bed.